All right, everyone, we're doing something a little different today. I'm Rich, and this is Jody over hey. here. And um, today we're going to look back in history just one week. So last week we were out on the Solstice Ridge project, which is a project that we've been doing how long? Two years? Going well, on three? Over, over two years now. So we started the project up like October of 2022, just getting everything set up. Uh, this is a 54 home development. And one of the things that we did was set up a lot of um, autonomous flight paths, right? Mm -hmm. So we were doing the uh, orthomosaics with the Mavic 3 Enterprise, and then also doing video flights and still flights. And actually, ah, I didn't turn this on. Let's uh, let this move out here. So we're, you know, we're just going to have this in the background. But um, when we get out on location, we have a little bit of setup to do. So in the case of this one, I was setting up audio files for it too, to record to the Android controller. And while I was going through this and tinkering with our first flights, Jody was setting up Flight Radar 24 and uh, Flight Aware. Flight Aware. Um, we're close to the uh, Prescott Regional Airport, and this particular location required uh, Lance authorization. And as you can see, we're just getting this started up. So I wanted to. Um, I just wanted to share kind of a, what we do out in the field, right? So I set up the ortho mosaics first. We flew those. We got the drone back and landed. And now we're doing a 28 foot above ground level video flight um, that we've done over and over yeah. again with Mavic 3 Enterprise. I was going to say there's a reason we do the, the ortho flight first. Yeah. Because typically it's the less, the least amount of air traffic yeah. at in the morning, at least on a Sunday. Um, yeah, we do try to get out earlier um, so that we're not bothering any of the neighbors in the uh, neighborhood because people are moving in. And as you can see, I'm, I'm checking through everything and uploading the flight mission down in the right corner. And so Jody is playing Visual Observer. Yes. And uh, what, can, what goes into Visual Observer at this point? Everything. <laughs> um, like number one flying on a on a quiet day like so on a sunday when there's no activity that's the best time because i've learned um unlike drones that have to transmit their remote id at all times um airplanes don't have to do that and if you can't hear the plane coming over the ridge line that you know like just just on the other side of the hill where that yeah, uh, big what, open spaces. Yeah, what we're seeing here up above that, we've got a ridge. Yeah, and planes will come over that 200 feet. <laughs> planes will come and, over that. You know, the only way you can hear it is if there's no machinery yeah. being run. And yeah, construction days going on on construction days is kind of problematic. Yeah, them. that's those are low low flight days. That's when you you do your 30 foot, 90 foot max cuz you don't know what you're going to get yeah. for air traffic. And I am constantly bugging you. What do you see? What do you hear? Yeah, that's what I always my job I stand there and I listen for hummingbirds and <laughs> airplanes and, and helicopters because this last flight we had a exceptionally low helicopter and loud very loud, which is how we knew where it was, but right. it was flying well below the, right. the highest ridge there. It was definitely, I mean, if you were on the porch of your house there, you could have waved because you would have been eye level with a helicopter pilot. We it do, was not. We do have life flights here because we've got a couple of hospitals in the area. So life flights will happen. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, but accidents happen, yeah, but yeah. this was not a life flight. No, it was not. Because he did this particular aircraft or helicopter um, didn't show up on any of the radar apps at all. Life flight will always show up. Yeah, yeah. So and then we've had we've had uh, we've had manned aircraft literally to the right. You can't see this right now, but that's the bigger part of the hill. We've we've had some guys come right over that ridge. I don't know if they know somebody in the neighborhood. They're buzzing a friend to say hi. But um, wow, do they come over low? It's usually private aircraft because we have the flight schools and, and everything out here, like Embry-Riddle. And, and the Embry-Riddle planes, they always transmit. You can always see where they are on the radar map. They never fly low. But the if you have apparently if you have your private aircraft, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> Free of consequence. Yeah, we've uh, we've had a couple of interesting encounters, including someone uh, right when um, right when uh, 
remote ID came out, we yeah. had a we had someone who probably saw the remote ID because they they whipped their plane around um, to fly right over us where we were standing and they operating. they cut yeah. that plane so hard in their turn. I thought I was listening to a plane crash because the, the way that the engine it sounded like the engine was going to stall out. But what it was is the plane was coming in and was like, oh, there's a drone. Yeah. yeah and, and I mean, they you. hard banged. They yeah. were full. Like, I mean, they were almost parallel to the ground. This guy wanted to fly directly and, over where we just flew. And um, often I will get a manned aircraft notification up on the left hand corner of the screen you're seeing here. Um, didn't get one then. But uh, yeah, just some weird happening. So we have to pay really close attention yeah to what doing. and you will get the phantom manned aircraft warnings because we just had that this past weekend you were flying and it's like manned aircraft you know but warning man just... warning you know aircraft nearby and no the closest one was forty thousand feet and i don't think that's considered nearby yeah no definitely not so as you can see here the uh we're landing right now so that was our first flight in here and this is part of what we typically do. So we do these flights. This was a video flight. And um, not many video settings on the Mavic 3 Enterprise, unfortunately. I mean, really not anything. Um, no. we've, we've got one set. It's, it's MP4. Um, but we got this landed, and I asked Jenny, I said, do we want to do a second one to get some new stills mm -hmm. for, um, for the client as well? So um, we're about to take off and do another one. But... Um, one of the things, so we're we're flying right now during the UFO scare from uh, New Jersey, or the drone scare. Yeah, I know there's a glare on my glasses. You couldn't see my see me roll my eyes, probably. But yeah. um, but I... but um, you know we're so familiar with the people in the neighborhood, people who are moving in and buying these, and also people who um, do walkthroughs. As you can see, I'm changing it to the camera now, um, away from the away from the video. So that was on the right hand side, and I'm just double checking everything. Um, so, all right, you know, mechanical shutter, all that. So, um, and we uh, also want to do the uh, de warping on for this, but I forgot to. But we have, you know, while we're doing these things, so I'm, I'm messing around with the drone right now in the field. And we actually did allow um, the Android to record all of it, you know, record this, but I wanted to have a talk through what we do because mm -hmm. it's always bzzz, and, you know, I, I'd rather just actually us have a conversation about it. But, um, so the drone scare in New Jersey uh, didn't affect any folks in our neighborhood. But I mean, we've been building, you know, we've been building relationships with a lot of these people and a lot of their dogs. I know every dog that walks <coughs> through there on Sunday between the hours of 9 and 11. Yeah. So we have the neighbors who are walking the area, checking out. What's and they're all around. friendly. Yeah. And but, you know, that took us a few. We had a couple of people who came off a little hostile in the beginning. Uh, they just weren't sure what was going on. And usually, it, you know, nobody likes when their dog starts to freak out at something. Yeah. And so yeah. there, you know, there hasn't been a lot of that. But for the most part, everyone just wants they have questions. They want to know, like, what are you doing? Yeah. So we've answered I've answered questions to people about how they get their part 107, purchase a drone. I've had several very interested people. Mm -hmm. Um, while we're out on site. And um, so we're always friendly with everybody and that really helps. So when you're building a project like this, um, part of the project is dealing with the neighbors and um, mm -hmm. answering their questions. And then we're fine for doing our flights. We don't get hassled. Um, it just, it doesn't happen. You know? Which that's helpful in having a visual observer too is you as the pilot don't really have to answer anything because your VO is doing all the talking for you so that you are not being distracted. Yeah, and that is, that's a big thing because I am looking where the drone is and I am also checking on screen as well. And I'm, in this case, taking these still photos again um, that we wrapped into our latest presentation for the clients. Mm -hmm. And um, so, so we're doing some stills here. And there are some people moved in, by the way. Uh, the guy showed up a couple of weeks ago um, on one of these houses. Oh, trampoline guy. Yeah, he had the uh, outdoor trampoline. Yeah. And uh, watching the video coming back, they were out there bouncing pretty hard. Yeah. Um, you know, and we've noticed that people will notice the drone going back. And it's they all know it's in their contract. They they are aware that stuff is still being done and yeah, the, people are flying and blah, blah, blah. So going on. You know, no that. one can really claim, oh, I didn't know. Yeah. But, you know, 
At yeah. least he was wearing clothes. Yeah. After two weeks, or I'm sorry, after two years of flying, you know, they really have gotten to know us. So. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like I said, nobody complains. Um, the dogs come up with the owners. They're always on leashes. They're, yep. you know, they're very pleasant and just curious. Uh, we've got one favorite lady recently who uh, we seem to meet up with every week. Every week. And she was out with a friend who had so many questions for us. Fortunately, I was I was just ending one of my flight patterns, so so I can engage with them too because yeah. Jody was chatting with them. But um, her friend was really curious about uh, drone flight and mm -hmm. seemed you know seemed interested in getting into it. So I you know it's funny who you meet. Yeah. You know, and as you can see, it's the same flight over and over again. So the other thing with this is it gets monotonous, um, incredibly monotonous. We have the flights set up. We've set a couple new ones up recently too. Um, just because the expansion's going on now. And we've also changed some of our original flight paths because um, the houses weren't there before, so we could get in a little closer. We had the 30-foot flight path. Um, I don't want to fly that anymore because uh, it's close to looking into somebody's... You really are path. almost level with like yeah. the, with the, the back porches. Yeah, and this is hillside, so you know, notice that this is going down. So if I'm set for, you know, 60 feet down here, um, I'm looking in windows. It's like, that's the only dog right now on screen that's been yeah. off leash. Yeah. But it's a good dog. You can tell because it does not care about anything except staying on the sidewalk in the road. Yeah. So we just want to try something different. I'm, you know, like I said, getting bored with some of the flights. So I said, let's, let's just record ourselves and then we'll have mm -hmm. a chat. Well, I mean, and the flights are, they're like exceptionally ugly right now because it's winter. And yeah. everything just turns to dirt, brown, you know, like it's all dirt or just dirt brown. Welcome to Arizona. Yeah, north central Arizona. It's, you know, it's gorgeous 10 months of the year. Yeah. And so as you can see, we're, we're flying back into that. It followed the same exact pattern as the video flight. It's really spot on. Yeah. That's the other thing. We're not doing RTK right now. We're not doing measurements for this. This is just progression reporting showing the changes they don't need measurements. They're not displacing enough material to mm -hmm. make it worth it. And no one is stealing dirt. Yeah. No, and they, um, you know, everything's been surveyed here, uh, you know, so they don't, they don't need us to help them with any of that. They need us to document what's happened. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the survey engineering companies, they don't do this. This is not, you know, their primary job is survey engineering. And to come out here for two years every other week... Um, you know, for the survey engineers, I, their time's better spent elsewhere, mm -hmm. and we're kind of the follow-up crew. So, yeah, as you can see, so it's coming down, landing itself, and just about perfect again. I'm, I'm always really impressed. There, there are some shortcomings in the Mavic 3E, e and I'm not going to get into them today. But as you can see, video format for it, MV4, there you go, that's it. Yep. Um, and only 30 frames a second. So, I hate that. Yeah, no, it's really... Uh, really maybe depressing. it'll be in an update we just got white balance <laughs> well no and you know they're uh they're already talking about the mavic force so and they you know the, well, of course the, the leaks that will right. have 60 yeah. frames in auto balance and white yeah, balance yeah, we'll, we'll see we'll see but so we just wanted to do something different with you guys so it was just a chat with us and you know uh going into 2025 i think we'll talk people through some of these more like you know you know this is not a tutorial um so there's that and um oh, what am i doing i was just playing around with the drone for a couple i think just doing a little... i think you're just you're gonna do play with like a manual yeah, flight or yeah something. i was just doing a little free flight and um actually this weekend we're gonna go out and um, do some flights not not requested by the clients um we just want to test out a couple things again play with the 360s a little more and do a little more with um with the waypoint paths and then we finally got some of that worked out yeah. Uh, yeah. It only, it only well, and I'm curious how that with that smart photo. Oh, yeah. Or the smart. Yeah, I think it's called smart photo or smart still or something like that. Yeah. I want to see how that affects the heavy shadows. Yeah. And then we also had the um, we were tested out that um, the grid. So, oh, there was uh, the high high re high def grid. Yeah. High res, high grid. res grid. Yeah. It's cool. It's, it's interesting. Um, I don't know. If it's useful for um, for these types of applications, yeah. I think it's useful for zooming in on a cell tower. If you're doing a large area, because we only did it on that little part of the hill to the left there where yeah. the map's kind of covering now. Yeah. And I feel like that we were too close for what we got out of that. Like the, the golf course looks horrible. 
Yeah, it really does, huh? That's look at it. It's a, just a brown and yellow mess out there. Is it like zero foot, like right? Yeah. Oh, and that's the other basically thing. right where the zoom button is. Yeah. Is ba essentially zero foot. So we're flying in four hundred foot. We're okay. We get our lance authorizations, but right to the south of us, the clubhouse and the golf course. Is zero in, foot I, in the basin of the hill <laughs> so of all the hills you're is in a zero valley. feet. And so it's not like uh, you're going to be meeting up with planes or anything, but you know we've had to put in a couple of requests to do some of the stuff down in the um, down in the uh, clubhouse area. I wonder if it's zero foot because so you don't irritate the golfers I or don't. interfere with. No, yeah. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but yeah, so we've had to get permissions, and and Thursdays are their uh, morning. Uh, morning repairs to the uh, maintenance yeah. grooming and so all that. when we've needed access to them we've tried to plan on tuesdays so so there it is everybody um it's a really boring job sometimes drone flight is fun um our version of drone flight is a little monotonous and not so much fun not mm -hmm. so cinematic but um you know the drones that we have we can do more cinematic work but we enjoy this and, um, you know, we're really helping out our clients. Uh, the clients love it. Yeah. And we send them their report uh, after every flight and they use those reports to uh, pitch investors. So we've brought a lot of money in for them. And uh, just last week when we were out there, there was several investors and they were asking for Telling our we part. should change our fee to 1%. Yeah, yeah. They... 1% of, your, of what you get from your investor. Yeah, we do. That'd know... cover a lot of stuff. Yeah, we do know there was uh, 15 million that came into them. 1%. And and uh, they noted that our uh, the websites, our See My Build, um, were part of up oh, and there it goes we're closing off the uh closing off the video feed right in time mm -hmm. but yeah next time uh next time an uh, uh, client says that i'm gonna say yeah, i'll take one percent of that investment yeah i'll eight. fly for free i'll fly for one percent of what you get from your investors <laughs> uh let's see if any of you guys could pull that up all right hey thanks for hanging out with us and flying along and you know we're like i said we're trying something new mm -hmm. so and we got jody in front of the camera i mean fully in front of the camera for... i wasn't looking at the camera hardly at all because i was watching the screen but yeah. there's a glare you can't tell yeah yeah but yeah so if you guys have any questions want to see stuff uh, more like this let us know 2025 is going to be a new year 2024 was just an it's crap a absolute it disaster with my medical total issues. crap but I, I think we're back on the right track, so you'll be seeing more of us um, and more flights and more flight planning because we do have some other projects coming up. And one of them is going to be a lot of flight planning. So uh, yes. stay tuned. Subscribe. Be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, we still have our holiday, uh, our holiday sale going on. So our 18 class bundle is selling for 50% off through uh, the new year. And I might extend that a little because we had some problems with Teachable recently. The codes weren't working for a few days, unbeknownst to us. Yeah, until a potential student got in touch and said, hey, I can't sign up. That's all fixed now, everybody. So if you uh, check out classes.azdrone.net, go to the class bundle. And um, by the way, be sure to use the previews before you buy. We've got previews that's in every class. That's what previews are for. Yeah, so check them out. See if you like our style. If you don't, that's okay. And if you do, I hope you sign up with us. See y'all later.